Okay, so today we are going to be installing Microsoft Encarta 1994 on our Windows XP virtual machine. After doing a whole bunch of testing, I found that in order to play Windows 95 and Windows 98 applications, the best thing to do is to install a Windows XP virtual machine because it's basically Windows 98 underneath it and it has all the capabilities. Plus, as you can see, we're running in full 1080p in the background, so that's also nice for clarity. So we'll go ahead and we'll try to get this installed here. Okay, we want it as the faster version. We're gonna click continue, continue again, and it looks like that did it. We don't wanna register because we're not online. We'll go ahead and double click on this and open it up. And Okay, I wasn't expecting My that. It's pretty poor interesting. Little children, one day live in a nation. All right, that was cool, I guess. Well, uh, <laughs> let's check out some of these topics here. Let's try communication since we're a ComTech engineer. Let's see what different topics we have. Let's check out antennas. Yeah, so basically a little bit of history of Encarta. This was before the internet was prevalent. Of course, this was back in 1994. The internet still existed, but to do a lot of research, this is the tool you would use. And as you can see, it's got extremely good and even accurate information on antennas. Of course, it's 1994, so it's, what, what is that, almost 30 years ago. So, of course, it's going to have outdated information. But for the basic sciences and stuff, of course, that never changes. So we'll just scroll through this article here. And you can still see it has pretty good information. It talks about dipoles and how different wavelengths correspond to different lengths of dipoles. But we'll also check out this atlas. And of course we can't maximize it because this thing was designed in 1994, so it's not even supposed to be running on Windows XP. Most likely Windows 95. But as you can see, you can scroll around the globe and click different areas. This is, of, of course, Antarctica. And we'll check out some other places here. Let's check out South America, maybe Argentina. Salado. Salado. I thought I clicked on Argentina. Let's try it again. Okay, so we'll click on Sights and Sounds and see what this has to offer. As the Argentina National Anthem, we'll go ahead and play that just to say we played it. I guess. From what it looked on the map, it didn't look like it had every country's national anthem. I'm not sure if they just couldn't fit it on the disc, because of course this wasn't a DVD on Microsoft Encarta 1994. It was a regular CD-ROM, so those only hold, I think it's about 700 megabytes, so they probably just couldn't fit that much detail in there. So we'll just scroll through a couple of these interesting pictures here. And that's about all I had planned for this video. What I may do is, since the educational programs run a whole lot better than the older games on virtual machines, I may just try to stick to those applications. So I have, we just did a video on Microsoft Encarta 1994. I think I have an upgraded version, 98, and I have a few more educational applications too to go through. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.